What's up guys, LJ Crypto back with another video. If you like my content, please subscribe, hit the share, like and comments button. And always know that it is my goal to help you become financially free through the crypto market. So let's get started. So in this video, I want to talk about a term that is known as DAO decentralized autonomous organization so this is an article here from um, Cointelegraph that I found on, the, on Google um, so first thing they talk about is a uh, uh, basically like how a vending machine works you know how you uh, put in money right put in money you get a snack and um, then that money is used to reorder, you know, the chips or whatnot. Um, and then they also say how the um, cleaning services and pays is rent all by itself, things like that. And, you know, there's no manager and it's all pre written code. So that's it. That's a real life example that they give out. So now we get into Dell, right? So. Basically, you know, of course, this, you know, resides in crypto. It gets rid of the middleman. Um, it basically gets rid of this hier hierarchical uh, management uh, system. And, um, you know, organization where uh, it has a set of rules, is uh, automated, you know. Um, it is run by smart contracts, you know, code that, you know, I say the way I define it, you know, code that helps to operate crypto or, you know, like the blueprints of how a crypto works. And that same concept will apply to DAOs. Um, so yeah, once again, it's automated, but it needs people, you know, People need to interact with the Dell in order for it, you know, to be of any use. Um, so the Dell, just saying, the Dell has a funding phase. I wouldn't say maybe most of them. I wouldn't say all Dells had to do this. I mean, to some extent, you know, you want to fund your uh, your crypto or you know whatever crypto project you have for it to get going you know I agree with that um, to some extent um, so either the tokens are spent by the organization or you know the DAO rewards you know those who interact with it um, and then you know the investors the, the people who interact with the DAO you know they get they um have things like uh governance uh voting rights um basically um influencing and you know controlling how it's going to operate now and in the future you know uh and you know that allows not just one person to decide everything you know it's a whole it's a group it's uh, you know more voices are heard or whatnot and you know through voting through governance um, so and of course Dell yeah once again autonomous and then um, is it a blockchain so it's more transparent um, and you know it's harder for there to be, you know, any um, non dishonest, you know, actions, or it's hard to lie about your actions if you, you know, participate in a deal because it's through the blockchain and nothing can be erased within the blockchain. So, but yeah, so basically, Dell 
autonomous. Um, it uses smart contracts, and you know, the smart contract people have to interact with the Dell in order for it to work. And you know, multiple people, um, they, multiple people, multiple people um, vote on what the Dell or a smart contract is going to do in the future and you know that's more decentralized that's um, more fair and that you know not just not one person is going to decide everything you know most of people it's a you know collaboration collaborative um, you know thing so um Dell um, DAOs are compared to by DAPS decentralized applications um, and they're saying that DAO is like a combination of, of DAPS you know where there's voting and there's no middlemen um, you know people get to vote on the protocol and what it does in the future I'll talk more about DAPS in the future I kind of are kind of already talked about it but not really but yeah if we go down this is the story of Dell um, somebody tried to make a decentralized version of Airbnb but um the code was uh exploited uh, and people stole phones from it so this was the yeah this was in 2016 this was the first um idea of a Dell and didn't work out uh, so they this article talks about advantages of Dells very exciting um, it solves you know modern day organizations uh, high hierarchical organizations you know it tries to defeat that uh, beat that traditional system uh, yeah you know, DAOs have pre-written rules um, that are put into the smart contract of the DAO. Um, you know, voting system. And you see here they have a diagram. So I guess what I could say on this <laughs> pyramid here is that you know, like the top person basically controls the decision of everyone beneath it and. Yeah, these two people control everybody down here and so on and so forth, but that's not that's not how it works with decentralized autonomous, you know. The roles in the Dell are equal and nobody has more power over the other, you know. Or you could say that you know that concept is practiced a lot better on the Dell than a traditional um, you know organization disadvantages um, let's see so extremely new um, you know it might be I don't know considered risky I guess it's definitely revolutionary um, according to what they're saying here and it is, you know, very game changing to the way, you know, organizations work. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, very new. And um, there might be times where the uh, smart contract might get exploited and hacked. Somebody might find a bug in it. Um, the legal framework around Dells is still kind of in the unknown. Um, I kind of want to show an article, uh, you know, showing that you know how the legal framework framework around it is still a bit vague. Um, see. And these are examples of some Dells. I want to show two examples myself. So this is something like 
very very recent as you can see this was nine hours ago I'm recording this for June 16th yep yeah so um Dells in court so one of the most popular Dells uh, curve finance um, they feel that a um, project named saddle is uh, basically copying them copying their code and what they are let's see so yeah so curve finance community made a post saying that um, they want to enforce their IP rights and I guess um, the target of the IP that they feel is getting you know copy or you know stolen is from saddle and uh says somewhere the saddle is only what like six months old yeah so it launched in january yeah six months old it launched in january as a fanfare with major vc not sure what vc is so I'll put that up on the screen um yeah so so yeah they said uh, a cyber security specialist named sam <laughs> not sure how to spell pronounce that last name and not going to but she said that um ip is an important part of hundreds of years of innovation in every aspect of, of society and the economy and basically saying that that should also apply to the creators of you know decentralization um, they should also have that natural right so yeah curve second largest d5 protocol right now and yeah they curve is basically trying to protect their ip rights from saddle and they feel that saddle is trying to copy their code copy their uh dell protocol so yeah, this is um this is the first time I'm hearing of any type of loss or any type of conflict between Dells. So yeah, pretty interesting. Um, yeah. So now I want to get into um, cryptos that really try to um, model off of what a Dell is. So the first one I want to show, which I've shown a couple of times hourglass so you know hourglass you know a smart contract where you know the users interact with it and you know with every transaction um the tokens tokens go into the liquidity pool that get locked forever and then the other um portion gets um added to their balance so you know you earn more tokens just by holding from every transaction that happens within the smart contract of Hourglass. And Dells, and the article also mentioned that Dells are open source code. And this is proof of it. So, um, yeah, I'm on Hourglass, you know, you could type in their uh, address, contract address to the search on BSC Scan, it's a Binance token. Um, they have the their contract address on their website so yeah this is their open source code uh yeah pretty cool <laughs> yeah thousands like hundreds of lines of code <laughs> pretty insane i'm um, <laughs> i'm not even i'm nowhere near at the level of understanding comprehending everything that's going on in this code but yeah Proof that you know this is open source. You know you can look at the coding and understand how you know through the code how the smart contract of Hourglass operates. So that's all I want to show. Still making Hourglass videos. The next thing I want to show, which um, has been around for a long time, Maker Dow. So this is um yeah this has been around since maybe 
2016 okay so it's been around 2014 so it's been around a really long time it's one of the older uh, cryptos because crypto of course was started with in 2009 with Bitcoin um, so yeah it's a decentralized autonomous organization built on the Ethereum blockchain uh, open source right and it practices governance voting you know the maker holders use maker to you know manage the protocol and um, apparently maker um, is associated with the stablecoin called DAI um, and this you know and through DAI through you know voting and governance they um, you know they maintain the stability transparency and efficiency of DAI um, yeah so yeah, of course voters have decision-making power um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just show a few, a couple of um, mechanics that Dai has that you know, maker holders you know maintain control or whatnot. Uh, I don't want to use the word control, but you know, vote on. Um, one of them is Dai savings rate. So, uh, you know. Stable coins tend to have high APYs, you know, in uh, like DeFi. Um, so, so they have something called die savings rate. Any die holder can earn savings automatically by locking their die in the die savings rate contract, and this is powered through Maker. Um, so that's one example. And uh let's see. So price stability mechanisms. Uh so one of their mechanisms is emergency shutdown. So this happens if uh for whatever reason this is a last resort. I don't I'm assuming this is never happened, but I could be wrong. Uh, basically if um the infrastructure of Maker, the protocol of Maker, is attacked by you know any hackers, and it you know manipulates the die price or whatnot. Uh, and second is to facilitate a Maker protocol system upgrade. So yeah, I'm assuming that. The second scenario has only happened. I'm, I'm, pretty sure they must have had system upgrades by now. It's been around for seven years, so yeah. That is the end of the video. Hope I did a good job in explaining what a DAO is. Um, but yeah, once again, if you like my content, please subscribe, hit the share, like, and comments button. Turn on the notification bell whenever I come out with a new video. Check out the description below and I will see you in the next one.